So I've just been asked by one of my students, how you become in the top 1% of designers. And actually, let's start with why you would want to do that. And the first reason is it will help you when applying for a job in no matter what the market is. So what does it mean being in the top 1% of designers? Does it mean you earn uh, the most money? Does it mean you have the most followers on social networks? Um, it depends on what it means to you. But in this lesson, I'm going to share with you some tips on how I achieved um, being in the top 1% uh, of UX designers worldwide and how you can do it too with just a little bit of time each day. I think that's the key. But I really think um, what what it means to me is it means that when you go on LinkedIn, when you need a job, people are going to know who you are. You have a reputation. You have a solid portfolio behind you. And uh, it, it will just allow you to stand out above the crowd whenever you're applying for a role. And then that means that uh, there's more opportunities to you more opportunities to make more money, more opportunities to uh, to network and to become uh, a well-known designer. So let's start off. The first thing you need to do is uh, specialize, really. So we've all heard uh, the term jack of all trades, master of none. So within the UI UX field, there's UX research, there's a UI design uh, in Figma, there's sketching, wireframing, there's um, user testing, so each person is going to have a specific area within that skill set that you uh, excel in. So mine really is a uh, graphic design. It's, it's probably UI design. Uh, uh, that that's my background that I came from, and that's the area that I can teach best. Kind of like graphic design tips and uh, and presentation skills. So really have a think about what area uh, you enjoy most. And this is going to help us go forward when we try and present your personality to the world uh, via um, marketing because uh, people don't really want a jack of all trades. They they want a specialist in something and that helps you move up towards the top 1% because you, you know specialists are the ones that people are really after and they are um, the skills that people want. So have a think about what you are, what area excites you, and then that moves us then on to... Um, self-promotion really so that is the key to becoming the top one percent you can have all the skills in the world and you can be the best designer in the world but if you don't shout about it then nobody knows you are uh, so you're the top one percent to you but you're not recognized either financially or you're not recognized uh, with your reputation online so the top one percent of designers shout about themselves so that is where we need to set up a couple of things for you so if i could go back in past and i could let my younger self know something that would be to set up a YouTube channel and a LinkedIn and maybe even a Twitter account uh, when I was a junior. And that is every day, spend 10 to 15 minutes and share something on each platform. So the skill to becoming a well-known designer is actually uh, to give. Uh, it's to give your knowledge and what you're learning. Uh, push that out for free as much into the world as possible and uh, people are going to start to follow and they're going to like your content. The best way to learn a subject is to teach it because you have to uh, articulate it properly and it, it uses different parts of your brain. And then it actually, I, I find when it comes to interviews and stuff later on, you're able to talk much more, arti more articulately about the subject because you've been practicing uh, via these videos. So every day, if you learn something new, make a video about it, share your journey, because um, a lot of the time, people uh, who, who are learning in normally juniors on these platforms, and they resonate with people who are also maybe just a little bit ahead of themselves in the career. Sometimes they can't resonate with me because I've been doing it for such a long time. Uh, but people who've been doing it for one or two years, who, who've got into the industry with no experience and have taught themselves, that's where they're going to learn the skills from. And that's why everybody watching this video... Um, my bit of advice is really have a think about how you can show your personality and, and don't be afraid to share your work. Yeah, even if you, like, we all get um, feelings that we're not adequate or we're not good enough in our work. I get imposter syndrome all the time. But by sharing your work, it's going to help somebody. It doesn't need, there's no best in the world that's this and that. Like sharing your work and, and teaching people what you learn and the lessons that you've learned and how you make yourself better and, how, and what you could do about your work when you share it 
um, it, it's going to help a lot of people. And that is how you get a following on these platforms. So the lessons could be sharing the designs that you've done, or it could be little one-on-one -on -one videos uh, like this about sharing your thoughts on the subject, uh, becoming a thought leader in something, uh, even just sharing little tip bits of advice about what it's like to work in the office, what it's like to work remote, what it's like to act to go share your journey of becoming a UI UX designer. So by by doing this and splitting it up every day, uh, putting it in your calendar, just 15 minutes, you're going to uh, schedule that time in. And then this, this isn't a quick thing. It doesn't take two months, six months. This takes many, many years. There are lucky people who you'll see with millions of followers who are natural on cameras, and it takes them uh, maybe a year to get like a million followers. That's not realistic. Um, they're quite lucky in some regards maybe they'll have one video that will go bring in millions of views and 99 that don't so if you look at my channel i've got one with over a couple of million views and then i've got like a hundred which all have a thousand or so views each and to me there's no reason why that video is more popular than them a lot of it is magic and it's just really you have to put the time and effort into making these videos over time you will get better your presentation skills will get better and that is what will boost you up uh, towards being uh, a top one percent so that allows you to grow your following on youtube on linkedin you can share similar content you can share your journey and the reason i say share on linkedin as well is because that there are recruiters on there and they are people who hire for roles within the ui ux design field and as and they spend a lot of their day on LinkedIn. Like, I've sit next to them <laughs> when I've worked in places before. And that's how they find candidates for roles. So if you're on there, you're posting, you're sharing your journey, you're sharing, you know, things that you've learned, they're actually going to get to know you, especially if you start adding recruiters on LinkedIn. And you're going to be the person that they go to when they get uh, junior roles available because you're well known. Uh, even hiring managers, People reach out to me on LinkedIn because they've seen me talk uh, about things on the. You, you you will get a lot of jobs in the future coming to you via LinkedIn, and a lot of it might actually not be about your work. It might be about uh, the stuff that you're sharing on these platforms. So that's why I say share it on YouTube, share it on LinkedIn, and then when you you want to be the top one percent uh, for getting paid, that is a different story again. So that. Um, the skills that you're learning throughout this process, they're going to help you move up in your career. And then within your career, there's different routes you can go down. Uh, you can go down the permanent route where you would become a head of UX and you work for a company. Uh, and that's a, like a long-term goal. And if you want to become one of the top uh, percentage of uh, paid people within the industry, then you either start your own company or you become a, a freelance contractor and you work... Um, you work for big companies on short-term projects. But again, do the work that you're doing on LinkedIn and on YouTube are going to help you get those, uh, they're going to help you get those roles. Really, if you want to become in the top 1%, you're going to want your own business. And, that, uh, and you're going to have to attract clients. And how you attract clients is by people knowing about you. It's really sometimes not about the work you've done, but more about the personality of you as the business. They're, they're, they're they need to build up trust and they're going to want to know you're doing it. They're going to trust you and they're going to want to know you're doing the work. Like just imagine you were hiring uh, someone to do work for your house and you'd seen someone talking about roofs on LinkedIn, sharing their knowledge. Then um, you're going to choose that guy over someone uh, you don't know because we're in this world of content marketing and uh, people kind of, it's like an organic way of getting, tra of getting traffic, getting people to your business. By sharing your knowledge, by putting it all out there for free, you become an authority. People trust you, uh, and then they hire you. And then starting your own UX UI business, that's where the real money is involved because then you can start hiring other people. People come to you for the jobs. You can uh, not just have one job. You can have many. You can have many designers underneath you doing these roles, and you're the face for the business. And that's how um, you really grow to you know, many, many, many multiples um, of income per year and that's something again for all of these things you need an audience and for an audience you need to give something to share so if i was going back in time that's what i would tell myself to become in the top one percent i hope that helps if you want to learn more about ui ux design 
join me on the course. I share uh, how to become a UI UX designer. We go through a project together on course careers. Um, check it out. The link's in the description. There's a free introduction course. Um, there's a great community over there, and we, we learn things like this. It's not just about learning UI UX design. It's very much about self-promotion and uh, really pushing yourself to become the best that you can. If you want to stick around on YouTube, watch the next video.